La Quelia is one of the most extraordinary mountains I have ever heard of. Situated in the heart of the Abruzzo region, right in the center of Italy, it has become the focal point of our explorations this week. Here is everything we've learned so far. However, let's start at the very beginning of our adventure, when Gregorio stopped by for a visit. Gregorio is from Corvara. His family has lived here for generations. Sergio and my mother met him the day they went to the notary to sign the contract for the purchase of the property. Attenzio. And we've been friends with Gregorio ever since. Gregorio is a walking library of this place and region. And we will have much to tell you about it in the future. Here, he shares with us the blend of legends and stories about La Quelia. It is thanks to him and his incredible stories that we have learned so much about this extraordinary mountain. And the story goes as follows. La Quelia is full of caves. In the late 17th century, bandits used to hide there after riding the valley. The French soldiers of Napoleon, tired of these bandits, went up the mountain and shot everyone who seemed like a bandit. In a short while, the bandits were killed or had to escape, leaving behind everything they had stolen. They left an incredible treasure hidden in the largest cave, the Devil's Cave. It's a particular cave that starts with a tunnel descending into darkness. And you cannot see the bottom. If you throw a stone, you won't hear any sound. Only the Devil could enter, and no one dared to attempt it. Only two brothers had the courage to venture inside and found a chest filled with gold coins. However, it was too heavy, so they could only take a handful and put it in their pockets. While they were returning home, they heard footsteps behind them and were struck by several stones hurled from the mountain. They reached their house and locked themselves inside but it was a night of terror. They could hear stones hitting the roof and constant pounding on the door. The next day, they decided to return the coins to the Devil's Cave and their problems ended. Gregorio remembers how, in his grandparents' stories, the Devil Force was present very often. The devil was used as a symbol to describe mysterious and unexplainable elements in their stories. Under the devil's cave flows an underground river, the water of which comes from the Gran Sasso, a very famous mountain massif in the region. The source of water in Corvara is also a branch of this underground river. This spring is called the Fountain of Niobe. In Greek mythology, Niobe is a symbol of fertility because she gave birth to seven male and seven female children. When she bragged about it, the gods decided to punish her and killed them all. Devastated by the loss, Niobe was turned to stone and wept endlessly for her children. This water from the tap is truly amazing. It's fresh, vibrant and silky. Before we drink it, 
we store it in copper and clay containers. Copper is one of the best conducting metals and it energizes the water. It changes its molecular structure without affecting its chemical composition. If left in the container overnight or for about six hours, the water is ready to drink. Seventy two percent of our body is water and how we treat it is very important. Here we make sure to create a certain atmosphere around it by lighting a lamp, keeping some flowers and drinking it with certain reverence because water is our life. Unfortunately, we have one more thing to tell you. Well, two days ago we received this message from Gianluca, Jack's owner, saying that Jack will not come to visit us because he was attacked by some dogs and now he is recovering. We hope to see him well soon. Although it looks like a small pond, this is a very ancient lake that has been here forever, regardless of weather, climate or historical changes. It's called Il Lago del Morrone.
This used to be an Italic Roman sanctuary, which is older than 2,500 years. Estimated to have been established around 500 BC. The water was certainly the main reason for building a temple here, as the water was needed for rituals, but also as a base for everyday life. Originally, the temple was dedicated to a feminine deity associated with fertility and healing powers. However, over time, the worship of a masculine deity, symbolized by a statue of Jupiter or Zeus, was introduced as well. In 91st BC, an event of historical significance occurred on the shores of this lake. Leaders from various Italic tribes gathered here to take an oath and initiate a war against Rome. Unlike typical conflicts fought for territorial conquest, this war aimed to secure civil rights and Roman citizenship for the subjugated populations. This gathering of tribal leaders and the oath they took marked a unique moment in history. The amazing thing is that, in this area, a silver coin with the inscription Italia and the image of a woman's head was found. It is believed to be the earliest visual representation of the word Italia in history. On the reverse side of the coin, there were depictions of the eight tribal leaders raising their weapons and a sacrificial wild boar, the symbol of the local tribe of Vestini. According to legend, the leaders swore the oath and threw their command rings into the lake. Who would ever think that in this completely unknown place lay the origins of Italy as a nation?
On La Quelia, there are also a couple of multi-line climbing walls that can be used throughout the year. Here is one of them. Спасибо, Анна. This is Gianluca, the owner of Jack. Fortunately, Jack is feeling much better. The doctors stitched his wounds and soon they will remove them. <laughs> see, see. 
Ha da una pulita, ha fatto sto temporale. Mamma mia, mia c'è la testa con, sta con lì col trattore. Ci siamo mi son fermato per fare una partita a scacchi con lui. A un certo, <ride> certo punto è venuto giù a finire mai. È venuto giù a non finire mai. Come stanno? Fate l'olio poco. Speriamo. Speriamo. Gianluca is producing his olive oil. We would like to buy some from him. Come the olive oil of last year? Oh, it's good. It's good. Gianluca told us that every 100 kilograms of olive fruit yields between 14 and 17 liters of oil. 40 quintali, 200 ah. passo olivi. Noi eh, abbiamo 100, 100, la metà, meno della metà. Eh, dipende dalla grandezza dell'olivo, varietà, dipende. Sì, sì. No, penso voi, una decina, una decina di quintali, meno, una decina. Ma io sono puntato sui 5 quintali questa ah, cioè, ah, volta. Allora. <ride> Good Jack that you are with us. When we look at the map, it's incredible to see that La Quelia is situated right in the heart of Abruzzo, in the center of Italy. It is just 15 minutes from the highway, 40 minutes from the airport of Pescara and two hours drive from Rome. The name La Quelia originates from Mons Aquileia, the Latin name of the mountain known from the Middle Ages. It signifies the mountain where the eagles make their nests. Gregorio told us that he saw the last pair of eagles with their offspring flying above L'Aquilia approximately two decades ago. Personally, when I first heard the name of Aquilea, before I knew any legend, it sounded to me like aqua, water a mountain of water. Who knows, maybe the origins of the name go back much further.
According to a local legend, the god Zeus fell in love with the beautiful Niobe. However, Niobe refused his affections and escaped, seeking refuge in this very place. Enraged by her rejection, Zeus hurled a massive stone toward her, which now is called La Quella. What's interesting? is that geologists have discovered a unique feature that distinguishes La Quelia from all the other mountains in the Abruzzo region. While the surrounding mountains are mainly composed of limestone, La Quelia stands alone as the only presence of volcanic solidified magma, which makes it an exceptional geological wonder of the region. They call it the wandering stone resting on a bed of sand. I'm truly amazed at how these two legends about Niobe as water source and La Quelia as a stone thrown by Zeus at her blend together and connect so well with the actual geological features of this extraordinary mountain. The mountain peaks at 995 meters, 